Now, if it is certainly true that the good, the truly great and noble, is different for different people, but resolution, which is the true acknowledgement, is still the same. This is a very upbuilding thought. Someone who wants to erect a tower sits down and roughly estimates how high he can erect the tower. Alas, how different it appears at the time of the rough estimate, but how similar in the moment of resolution. And if there is no resolution, there will be no tower, however imaginary or however really splendid the estimate was. The good resolution is to will to do everything in one's power, to serve it to the utmost of one's capability, to do everything one is capable of doing. What blessed equality, since every human being is indeed capable of that. Only in the moment of the rough estimate is there difference. Or consider someone who wants to do an act of mercy. Can he do more than give all that he possesses? And did not the widow give infinitely more than the rich man gave out of his abundance? At times the circumstances can determine that a penny signifies little more than it usually signifies. But if someone wants to do something marvelous, he can make the one penny signify just as much as all the world's gold put together, if he gives it out of compassion, and the penny is the only one he has. Indeed, someone who has an ear for judging how large the gift is detects the difference just by hearing the jingle of the coins. But compassion, and the temple box, understands it differently. When someone who enjoys health and strength and who possesses the best gifts of the spirit enters the service of the good with all that he has, with the range of years that seem to stretch out before him, with expectancies every demand upon life, every claim expected and demanded only for the sake of the good. And when, on the other hand, someone who sadly sees his earthly frailty in the day of disintegration so close that he is tempted to speak of the time granted him as the pastor speaks of it, when in the hour of resolution a person like that promises with the pastor's words to dedicate these moments to the service of the good, whose tower then becomes higher, do they not both reach heaven? Or when one person, a stranger to internal enemies, aggressively directs his mind and thoughts toward humankind in the service of the good and wins thousands, and when another, retreating in internal battles, in the moment of resolution saves himself, whose tower then becomes higher? Soren Kierkegaard, Four Upbuilding Discourses, 1844, Against Cowardliness, from 18 Upbuilding Discourses, 1843-1844, Hong Translation, 1990 page 361 and 362.